Yep, you read that title correctly. Up until a couple of minutes ago, I had never seen The Incredibles, and with The Incredibles 2 coming out in the summer, it only made sense to watch the film for the first time now. So as I'm sure you all know, The Incredibles came out in 2004. It's a Pixar film about a superhero family who have superpowers, but they can't use their superpowers because superheroes are actually banned in the world, so they have to pretend to live normal lives, or they do live normal lives, but they just can't, you know, use their superpowers. Mr. Incredible has his boring, mundane job. You have Elastigirl, who's the stay-at-home mum. You have the kids. And one day, Mr. Incredible gets a call to be a superhero once again but in secret and I'm gonna say spoilers because the film's been out for 14 years if you haven't watched a film by now you're even worse than me I was very excited to watch The Incredibles for the first time and I can happily report to you guys that as expected I really enjoyed it but I don't think it's the best Pixar film though I say that because I've spent years reading comments and people just praising the living hell out of this film calling it some people think it's the best Pixar film I'm not there really. I think I think Toy Story's better, Monsters Inc, Finding Nemo, Inside Out, Coco, Wall-E. I think they're all better than The Incredibles personally. The Incredibles is a very entertaining film. I had a lot of fun watching it. The action scenes, the superhero scenes, the scenes where they're using the powers to just take out bad guys, especially that whole scene on the island where the family are working together using their powers and also the whole finale where they're taking down the big robot all really entertaining stuff, I had a lot of fun with those scenes. But for me personally, it didn't really have that Pixar magic to it. You know, films like Inside Out and Coco and Up, they really hit me where I live emotionally. Didn't get that really at all with The Incredibles. I like the film's family dynamic and a couple of the moments with the family are really sweet and touching, but I was never like tearing up or anything like that. I don't want to say the film's overrated, it's not overrated whatsoever. I see why people love it. I just don't think it's the best Pixar film like a lot of people say, so I would say it's a tad overrated in that regard. I like the concept of the film Film in the sense that superheroes have been banned, like the government has full on banned superheroes using their powers in public and whatnot. It kind of reminded me of Captain America Civil War, where the government are really honing in on superheroes, but they're not like controlling them, they're just full on banning them. I liked that play that it had on the superhero genre and how Mr. Incredible wants to relive the glory days and the whole concept of retired superheroes coming back to being superheroes. I also like Syndrome, the villain. I found him to be pretty entertaining, he's like really dastardly and evil because he was like Mr. Incredible's biggest fan when he was younger but he was rejected by Mr. Incredible, now he's like the big nemesis, his character design was funny, I just found him to be a very entertaining villain. And I wish we got to see more of Frozone, Samuel Jackson's character, where is my super suit? Overall though, I had a lot of fun with The Incredibles, not Pixar's best film like some people say, it wasn't like a super compelling film necessarily, but it was really entertaining for a family film, for an animation, I highly recommend it if you still haven't seen it, like I didn't until a couple of minutes ago. Great film for the whole family, I'm glad that I finally watched it, I'm now looking forward to The Incredibles. Incredibles 2 and I'm going to give The Incredibles a 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching the video as always guys. This is a segment that I kind of want to do on my channel, first time viewing reviews because there's a lot of films that I've never seen that people are like, oh my god, you've never seen these films and I kind of want to do more of these videos, more first time viewing reviews. So if you want to see more first time viewing reviews, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you thought of The Incredibles down in the comments below and if you want to see more of my stuff, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.